A new government report is raising eyebrows across the country, especially among anyone interested in extraterrestrials. Our Alexandra Lemon has the story. Physicist and Harvard professor Avi Loeb says there's a possibility humans aren't the only civilization in the universe. Whether we live in such a reality or not is not a philosophical question. We just have to look out. Loeb teamed up with the Pentagon office that investigates unidentified aerial phenomenon, and they released this draft report that indicates it is possible that alien ships have already visited our solar system. Specifically, Loeb thinks the first interstellar object spotted passing through our solar system in 2017 that was given the name Oumuamua could be an extraterrestrial mothership. Loeb says Oumuamua didn't have the characteristics you'd find in meteors or other known objects. We cons- so this is one of those things that uh, when you look at it, you know, you've been seeing a lot of stuff in the news lately and then a lot of strange things happening. It's not just me, but a whole lot of other people are doing these videos and they're talking about this exact same thing. Now, only recently they showed uh, these drones going over uh, the uh, Pentagon over Washington DC and stuff like that these areas and uh, you know these are heavily guarded areas guys Um, you know it it would be flying over that space without being uh, taken down is a real real trick you know I mean it's almost considered impossible especially if you're unidentified as in this case you know they're uh, considered what they were called before ufos and our uaps so instead of unidentified flying objects which you probably all are very privy to these are unidentified aerial objects because aerial in the sky right now avi Loeb is uh you know someone uh from the government himself that you know that works uh in the uh, uh, department of science and physics and then he's an astronomer as well so just just imagine this guy coming out and actually making this claim to the media so these are the two things i look at here there's uh i look at it like this like he's working for the government you know and he's kind of put there to give out propaganda of some sort to or to maybe to prepare the people for the reality of what's coming this is kind of what they do actually they put everything in the media first to present it to the public you know in a you know on mass scales and this way whenever something happens it's more acceptable you know kind of making it more palatable to the mind and to our you know ability to reason this is um like the twilight zone you know to the power of two million you know i mean it's just exponentially so much larger than anything we would have experienced in the past and uh, I love the Twilight Zone, by the way, guys. I'm a big Rod Serling fan, and I watch that religiously. But um, getting back to this, yeah, this is impressive, you know. So I'm going to keep uh, putting up this stuff. And this is what I wanted to do originally, but if you... I don't know if anybody cares, but, you know, I've just been through so much in my life. And uh, on account of, of who I am and, and things that I think about and what I do, and, and it's just been too much. But uh, this is giving me a chance to, to breathe a little bit and to enjoy life a little bit at the age of 54 after having basically my entire, um, you know, prime of my life taken away from me. But anyway, guys, um, I'm not going to be bitter about that. I'm going to be happy I'm still alive and still able to present the things that I've wanted to for so many years. I hope you guys enjoy. So sit back and relax and let's uh, watch the rest of this. Consider a possibility where an object as big as Oumuamua, which was a football field size, uh, is a mothership. He says the mothership could have released smaller ships or probes to study our solar system after spending a long time to get here. With chemical rockets, it takes less than a billion years to traverse the entire Milky Way galaxy. Loeb says if a Muamua was a ship, there likely wasn't life on it. Instead, he believes it could have been operated by artificial intelligence. An artificial intelligence system that uh, stays dormant for that period and just gets activated when it comes close to its target. So here's something else I found really fascinating. And uh, everybody's been, or a lot of people have been posting uh, that have that was in the area of Washington, D.C. about a strange crash landing. Now the government also confirms that something happened. They had no choice because there was so much... Uh, 
police presence there and uh, so many people posting about it. This is the one wonderful thing about being able to have a cell phone and camera and access and in- access the internet is that before they can dismiss anything, we can show proof. And I think that's probably uh, become a real problem for the people that are trying to kind of get one over on us, you know, pull the veil over our eyes, you know, and uh, I think this has become a real problem and a real issue for the government and whoever else is, you know, um, perpetrating anything that's like this at all. But who knows, this could be Project Bluebeam, we don't know, you know, so it's fascinating. But um, let's take a look, let's take a look and see what they have to say. I'm curious to know what your comments are, your feedback, what your perspective is as well, because I'll be talking a lot more about these things, and i uh, love to hear your feedback. Huge trail like something crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? if there's anything on the news about this yo am i tripping right okay so i was i'm in raleigh north carolina please tell me if you got anybody saw this but i was coming back from the gym off of this back road outside of raleigh north carolina and we're like the road and the trees and the sky opens up what the i swear i saw giant sparks like a plane like maybe on fire or like i don't know but it was like there was sparks across the sky and it left like a huge like illuminated smoke trail like behind it for a long time and then like three seconds later the biggest aircraft i've ever seen in my life flies right over my truck and it was completely silent and it had like four flashing lights on it. What the fuck? And then now, like right outside, I'm here for work living in a hotel. And right outside my hotel, there's like a, like four black undercover police officers just like posted up at an intersection. I don't know what. What the f did I just see? Someone please tell me they saw it. This happened like five minutes ago and I can't find anything on it. There's like no sirens, like, what the f I do not know. I don't know what's currently going on in North Carolina, Washington, DC. And like I said, in some of the comment sections of these videos, people are saying that they witnessed the same exact thing in Indiana as well. But there are absolutely no news updates as to any aircraft crashing in the area, whether it's a regular plane, a 747, or something else altogether. There's absolutely no news as of right now. But this actually reminds me of a video I had seen not too long ago where a couple of guys that were in their car driving and they witnessed something bizarre in the sky, they were recording it, and then a couple states over, somebody else recorded the exact same thing but these orbs or whatever they were, were circling this thing that was on fire. Check this out. Guys, as you can see, there's something really going on here. I mean, I'm not too sure exactly what it is myself, but I'm kind of excited. I know everybody else is, you know. Um, this could be some sort of invasion. I mean, we're on the brink of war right now. I'm sure you guys have been keeping up with the Middle East. Not just the Middle East, but Russia, China, North uh, Korea, uh, Taiwan. I mean, they've got some heavy hitters that are either aiming uh, weapons at each other or have already taken strikes at each other. Now, there's been threats thrown around about nukes. Now, if you guys don't believe that, that we could be potentially in a situation where nukes would be, uh, you know, used, you haven't studied history, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that, that uh, I'm not taking away from the fact of humanity and everybody wants good things to happen, at least I hope so. I'm looking at the reality of life. I'm saying that 
yes, we used it in Japan already. And we've also been using it for uh, testing other different things, you know, the United States and also the entire world. You know, all the different countries have been, you know, to their um, nuclear programs, testing their, their weapons and, and what they can do. And, you know, and that's how they can uh, make whatever configurations or, or, you know, things that they need to do to make them better strategically. But the thing that we have to realize here is that if there is an alien force or an intervention outside of what's happening right now, I mean, that would be phenomenal. I don't know if you guys remember who Ronald Reagan uh, was. He was a president when I was very young. And uh, he was also an actor, actually. <laughs> and uh, if anybody knows, you know, they'll know, uh, they'll know who I'm talking about. But uh, he, he once said that uh, the only thing that would ever bring humanity together is if we had an alien threat, an outside threat to all of us, and then all of humanity would have to come together and fight. Now, the funny thing is that I don't, you know, I personally think that the world is too divided. You know, that even if we had an outside threat, we're just all so screwed up on this planet that we would, it would have to be like, like Independence Day where they take over the entire world. Then I can see that happening. But if it's just like a, you know, here and there things happening, I don't, you know, like small little things happening. I don't think that the world would come together because we're also in a race. Everybody's trying to become the most technologically advanced superior force on the planet. And, uh, you know, it's a very uh, iffy situation here that we're in. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you know that term dog eats dog type of thing, you know. You know, who's who's got the juice, that type of thing. If you ever heard that phrase from the movie. Uh, back in the day, Boys in the Hood. So, you know, this is gangster shit going on. I'm not going to lie. It's what it is. It's gangster shit on a much different level than we've ever seen. Because now, like I said, we've had players involved and nobody knows who they are, which I believe. I mean, if you study, uh, if you looked at any of my videos or any of the videos online about aliens now, a lot of them, especially like Billy Carson and uh, Zachariah Sitchin before him, and there have been others talking about the ancient Sumerians from Baghdad, what's coincidental that during the time of discovery of a lot of ancient artifacts of ancient Sumeria was when the United States went in there and invaded Iraq on false pretenses, which, you know, were then admitted by George Bush later on. Um... You know, to go so far as to take down an entire country. And they also took whatever artifacts that they found there. And those artifacts may not be just like antiques, like sculptures and things like that. They may have found, because you remember, this is where the Anunnaki was. They talked about genetic manipulation and all those things. So of course, that would make sense. That would make sense. You know, if you know that there's a place where you know you have access you can get access to because you have the power and the might to and you know the force to be able to do it you know and you can just go in there and take it most most uh, governments would do that you know i mean that that's just a given now what they do with that technology if they have that technology or if that technology has been dispersed around the planet there could be a situation where different uh, intelligent life could be working with other countries and you know and, and and setting us up all for failure here you know kind of like what you know I, don't, I hate to say this but what the British did back in the day when they wanted to take over land they would divide and conquer how would they divide they would kind of put everyone against each other let them kill each other off first then come in and just take them all out and that's kind of like how I look at all the Bibles that have been dropped here on the planet I, there's nothing against religion I'm just saying that what if there was such an intelligent, uh, you know, um, group of, of, of uh, I want to say aliens or a life form or intelligent life forms or whatever that were out there and they decided, hey, we're going to manipulate you people so we don't have to do the work because we want to keep the planet. But if you guys kill each other off, we can still harness everything you've built and use it. I mean, that's basically kind of like what, you know, what they would do. It's like if you have, let's say, a mansion, a car, this and that, and a highly tech technologically advanced hookup, you know, set up at your house, at your mansion, just take the guy out that's in the mansion and you can have that to yourself. You know, it's like, that's kind of like what the mentality may be. And uh, I'm not the only one that's uh, speculating. I think even Einstein himself, if I'm not mistaken, it was either him or someone else. It could have been Isaac Asimov, who's a great, um, the guy that wrote iRobot. Uh, a great science fiction writer but one of them said that if uh, if there was such a thing as um 
I think Stephen Hawking may have mentioned this as well, that if there's a more advanced intelligence race, what do you think they would do? Look what we did to the people that were primitive here on this planet. We went in, divided and conquered, and taken over, right? So, you know, that's why I said there's a lot of things that people aren't looking at. And uh, these things do baffle me. They go through my mind. They kind of scare me when I see what's going on. And uh, before I go, keep going on, on and I, I can go on forever on this topic. It's my, one of my favorite topics from what happened to me. If you see my videos and you see what happened to me when I was a kid, you'll see why I'm so intrigued by all these things. You know, it's kind of similar to Billy Carson's incident. If you've seen Billy Carson and what happened to him, it's very similar to what happened to me. It made me question all my life, you know, how could this happen? I don't understand it, you know, and I need to find out. But, um, all right, we'll, we'll, let's take a look at the next video and we'll see exactly what's going on here. All right, so hang tight, guys. Hey, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, I'm really trying to make this detail. I'm putting a lot of work and effort into it for you guys. And I'm so happy that, that I have so, uh, so many subscribers now that are really, you know, tuning in. And I'm going to be creating a lot more work for you guys. I'm taking all the time I can because I'm going through some things physically and, and mentally as well. There's a lot of things that I've lost in the last decade or so and recently as well. But um, guys, you guys are helping me to feel better about myself and uh, this is something I've been repressing since I was a child because I was just too ashamed to bring it forward especially if you knew my situation and why I had to hide all this stuff that you know, was going through my mind and things that I've been through in my life but I'm, a, I'm you know displaying it for everyone here and, and hopefully there are believers out there you know people that have experienced the same thing I have and if you, even if you haven't you just believe you know and that's good enough so guys if you like what I do please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and also hit that notification bell all these things will help the al algorithm to help me gain more uh, uh, people to see what's going on is to hear my message as well and uh guys stay safe and i'll see you in the next video